Okay, so we just saw that we can actually derive a closed form solution for price of an up and out uh, call option. Now what I would like to do is I would like to basically look at the differential equation for up and out call option, okay? So let's assume that we basically have a function v, t and x and this basically gives us the price of a up and out call option with the assumption that the, um, the call hasn't been knocked out till time t, okay? So till time t the, the call has not been knocked out and the value of the stock at time t is given by x. Okay, so this basically gives us the price of up and out, out call option under the assumption that it hasn't knocked out yet. Okay, so what I want to show you today is that this basically um, price of an up and out call option basically satisfies our Black-Scholes differential equation. So if you remember, we talked about Black-Scholes differential equations, um, the equation many lectures back and it was given by vt of time and x plus rx v of x dx plus half sigma square x square v of x x t comma x is equal to r v t and x. Okay, so this was the Black-Scholes differential equation and we basically derived this when you're talking about a European uh, call option, okay? So here basically what I want to show you is that if this is the value of a up and out call, so it's basically value of a barrier option with the assumption that it hasn't knocked out yet, this basically, uh, the, the formula for price of a up and out call option basically satisfies this differential equation and the boundary condition would be the value at time t if the asset basically starts at zero x basically is the price of the stock so what i'm trying to say is if if um, the stock starts at zero then the value of the up and out call basically is zero for zero less than t less than equal to capital t okay then value this close if b is this is the barrier okay if you basically reach the barrier then the value of the call basically goes to zero for zero less than equal to t less than t okay and at expiration for all values of x this basically would be because we're dealing with a european call option or sorry a, a up and out call option the uh, payoff is going to be x minus k, k is the strike price plus, but here our x basically goes from uh, 0 to b, okay? So basically what, I, what, what let's look at all these boundary conditions uh, one at a time. This first boundary condition basically says that if the stock basically starts at 0, um, and then basically value of the call basically stays at zero. And that's because you basically are modeling the stock as a geometric brown in motion. And in a geometric brown in motion, if basically the stock starts at zero, it basically stays there at zero. And hence the call would basically expire worthless. Okay, so this basically is um, coming from that. Now this basically is, says that before time t, if basically the stock reaches uh, the barrier, then the value of the call basically goes to zero because the moment it basically reaches the barrier, it would actually exceed the barrier, it would break the barrier. And once it breaks the barrier, the option basically gets knocked out and the value of the option would go to zero, okay? So that basically comes from our knockout feature. Now, and this basically condition is that at time capital T, we allow the stock to reach the barrier, okay? Okay, because if it reaches the barrier at expiration, then it doesn't have time to get knocked out. Okay, so this basically is valid for zero less than equal to X less than equal to B. Okay, because even if it reaches B at time T, it will not get knocked out because there is no time remaining. Okay, and the payoff is going to be X minus K plus. Okay, this basically is the payoff of a call option. So this basically boundary conditions you should understand. So what we want to show right now is that this basically um, the price of a 
up and out call option basically satisfies this and these are the boundary conditions. So let's basically see how we can derive this differential equation.